Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, today's video is a very chilled and laid back video because of course I'm stationed out, which is something I hardly ever do. But I decided why not do a relaxed video today. As you would have seen in my previous vlog, I went to an Asian market to get a few snacks and I thought why not try them out with you guys, share my experience and ex my experience and my expectation with you guys but before we get into the video please make sure that you give it a massive thumbs up if you like it leave your comments down below and do subscribe to the channel so let's get right into the video these are all the snacks i list all of them but this is pretty much an idea of what i got just have them here in front of me the place is called Market Kokoro, I think. Where is it? Let me just double check. Kokoro, Market Kokoro, and the one in Pretoria is in Brooklyn, but they have two other branches, and one is in Rivonia, and the other one is in Four Ways. So if you're anywhere near those places and you want to try the snacks out for yourself, you can check both out um and yeah and if you feel like you want to see first what they have before you actually go to the store you can also search them on instagram and click on the handle to go directly to their online store to see what they have but i feel like different stores have different things because when i searched they had soju but when i got to this store they didn't have but i think other stores do does have um soju but that's besides the point child and let's get right to the snacks so the first one i have is this one it says the nong, nong, shim, nong shim and it's shrimp flavored chips so i can't read most of the things written here because everything is written in in asian so pardon me and there's no like English translation for most of these things, but it smells weird. It smells like it smells like food. It doesn't smell like chips. You know how you lace your Simba chips smell? This one smells like some Asian food. Maybe it's the shrimp. I don't know. But yeah. And this is how it looks. <laughs> it's weird. So super thick the moment of truth i'm so scared to actually taste it but i'm gonna do it anyways it's very soft like it's very soft the texture is very soft it's not as hard as i thought it would be when i first saw it but the taste i don't really know what i can say tastes like i don't know it's just weird it's a weird taste mm, i don't like it mm -mm. i don't like these so i'm gonna give them a five out of ten the next pack of chips we have are these ones these are choco churro um excited to taste these ones because it's different normally chips are savory so i'm expecting this one to be sweet and it says the new chocolate churro flavor has been i don't know what as the name suggests the chocolate churro every four layer chip is topped the crispier and sweeter turtle chips is so everything is cut out that's why i'm not reading the whole sentence it's supposed to be crispy and sweet so for the taste it's so hard it smells chocolatey it does smell like chocolate um 
and this is how it looks like. I guess it's the turtle tontons. Doesn't look <laughs> like what it looks like on the pack, but it feels like it's gonna be soft. Mm -hmm. Definitely is soft. And I don't know if it's chips, but I feel like you would say it's a wafer with chocolate on in a form of a chip. I don't know, but. I really like this one if you have a sweet tooth and these are for you I really enjoy them next up we have biscuits <clears throat> um I don't know what type of biscuits these are but it says oat and milk I'm guessing the ingredients used are oat and milk and it's supposed to be crunchy it seems like there is chocolate in the center so yeah let's just open these and put it to the test so it comes in a pack oh. it smells chocolatey it smells similar to the previous snack it's very small so these are not biscuits maybe they are but they're so small They definitely crunchy, but the chocolate is overpowering. I don't know if it's because I just had chocolate, but I just feel like it's too much chocolatey for me. Give that a five out of ten. And the churro, I'll give that. These ones, I'll give them a seven out of ten. Though so I'm gonna try a drink. I got two. Um, Dr. Pepper soda yeah so I feel like this one is not an Asian snack as per se because you can find it anywhere in the world I think but we hardly ever get it in South Africa I just thought maybe just um, try it out yes and I got the cream soda flavor normally in South Africa cream soda is green if i'm not wrong but this one is is black and let's taste it kind of tastes like pepsi with i don't know the aftertaste what's the aftertaste But it tastes like Pepsi. Um, I don't know if it's what I expected, but it's, it's okay. It's not bad. I can drink it. Give this a seven out of ten. Then the next one, it's the cherry flavor. Let's try this one as well. Doesn't look red. Definitely doesn't look like cherry. tastes bland like the flavor is not coming through very well um i'll give this a five out of ten next up we have pepero i hope i'm pronouncing it right it's pepero and it's the almond and chocolate flavor it says korea number one brand chocolate and biscuits so for me, it's giving me pretzel sticks vibes. If you know pretzel sticks in South Africa, it looks similar to that. So yeah, let's just open it. Guys, I'm trying to there's a holiday in South Korea. Um, I don't know if it's called Pepero Day, where like you need to give people ooh, Pepero and it's something like Valentine. Let me actually just double check what it's called. So here they say, Pepero Day is held 
annually on November 11 and it's an observance in South Korea similar to Valentine's Day. It involves the gifting or exchanging of the Bero snacks, a line of chocolate dipped cookie stick, which is just an explanation of what this is, with the intention to display affection for friends and loved ones. So, it smells chocolatey, of course. It looks like it has bits and pieces of the almond. Let me just. Definitely a pretzel. Um, I'd give this an 8 out of 10. It's okay. The chocolate is kind of dark chocolate, not too dark. And I don't like dark chocolate, but this is a pretty good snack. So I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Next, I got chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, original 30% something. And then in a pack. Uh, in the box, the pack. Um, so this is how it looks. Normal chocolate chip cookie. So this is nice however it's soft it's not as crunchy as i expect i expected it to be crunchy because normally cookies are crunchy but this one is soft chocolate is okay so i'd rate that Seven out of ten. Next two items I got are these ice cream. So this is not a true representation of how it would look after buying it at the store because on the day after I bought it, I went out for lunch and they melted, so I had to <coughs> freeze them again, and this is how they came out. So this is how it looks <laughs> at the moment and uh, it says Malona, I think that's the brand, strawberry flavored, mm, it's so cold, I hate cold stuff. It's nice though, I like it. But it's cold. So I'd have to like lick it. So I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and I like that I can actually bite into it easily. It's not like hard. Although it's cold, I I do not mind biting it. I do not mind biting into it. Mm. And I give that a nine out of ten. I really like it. Then the other one is this one. I have high hopes for this one. <laughs> Better not disappoint. Oh, it looks that would look nice. Okay. Sure, this is not how it's supposed to look. Ooh. Okay. Let's take a bite. I don't like this one. I don't even know what it tastes like. But I'm not a fan. Next up, we have another drink. Let me start with this. Um, I think this one is iced coffee. It says coffee experts and real espresso. So I think it's an espresso. Let me... Oh my word. Let me try and open this and I'll be back. Like coffee. <laughs> but I feel like it's, it's not going to taste nice. I don't know.
It's okay. So the brand is Maxim. I think I've seen this brand somewhere. But it's okay. It's not the best iced coffee or cold coffee I've had or coffee that I've had. But it's okay. I don't see the hype. I just don't. Next, we have some bubble milk tea. I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan of a boba tea. So I just hope this one does not disappoint. Okay. Okay, no. It ain't gonna work. Um. Okay. So anticlimactic, so underwhelming. So I expected way, way more from this. It's not the best. Um, six out of ten. It tastes like you know when you add too much milk in your tea. I know it's milk tea, but yeah. In the same breath. I got another milk tea. Seems it looks different, so I don't know if it tastes different. This one tastes more like bubble tea. It's also not wow but i i'd give this an 8 out of 10 so i'm not as disappointed or as underwhelmed so yeah i think it deserves an 8 out of 10 for the last snack i got kit kats so we have kit kats in south africa obviously but we do not have these specific flavors so i thought why not the first one I'm going to try is this hazelnut crunch one. So it looks like a traditional Kit Kat that we know. Nothing special or anything. So it does taste like a Kit Kat, but it has a, a hit of nuts, you know, like towards the end, which is, it's good. So I'd give this an 8 out of 10. It's nothing new. Next one is the Cookie Crumble one. Same thing. So it looks like, is it, is it? An Oreo chocolate. It's also okay, not anything special. So eight out of ten as well. And then this one is a caramel chunky. I'm a huge fan of caramel, so let's see how this one tastes. So it's just the normal Kit Kat chunky. Mm -hmm. Too much for me but the caramel you can't even taste it it's too much so i give this a six out of ten for the last item the star of today's video I got green tea mochi. I think that's how you pronounce it. I do not know. So I've seen this on a lot of um, YouTubers. So I've seen this on a lot of YouTubers that I watch who are currently living in either Japan or 
either Japan or South Korea and people always rate this so I was just like ah, I need to try it this is how it comes in the pack so I'm super excited for this one I'm super excited oh there you go It has this small packet oxygen absorber. <laughs> I just hope I don't eat anything. Mm -mm. I'm not supposed to eat. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not gonna try that. But we're definitely gonna try this one. Uh, even though I'm struggling to open it, but so here it is quite soft super excited even we're matching so the moment of truth Let me take another bite. Maybe I took a big one. Doesn't have a particular smell. Uh -uh, I can't. <laughs> so that was a 3 out of 10. It's super slimy. I just don't like the texture. It's weird. I just do not like it. I didn't even get the taste the way everything was just so like I was my mind was bombarded so I don't even know how it tastes but that was the worst three out of ten definitely do not like it so maybe I should try a different flavor I don't know but I don't think it's the flavor I just think the texture of the item itself is just it's not for me yeah, my mind is still shook. And that is it for today's video, guys. Uh, it was quite overwhelming. It was quite a lot of snacks, quite a lot of sweet to taste. But I enjoyed doing this. So let me know if you want to see another one of these videos on my channel. Or maybe I can bring in someone to taste on the item with me because I might be biased based on what I like and what I do not like. So maybe having someone else might give a better perspective and they have a wide range of snacks, not only these ones that I have. So maybe next time, if you guys like this video, I'll bring a friend and we'll try different snacks. But anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for tuning in. See you guys in my next